Second day at Crystal Palace, I'm with, here with the national under-20 runner-up, Tom Farrell. Uh, obviously, congratulations on your performance today, Tom. 8.16, four seconds off your PB. Are you pleased? Do you want to talk yeah. about the race, how it went today? Yeah, I'm pleased. Um, I, I set off and I knew the pace was going to be alright because uh, Dan Cliff always kind of seems to just take the pace with so, uh, Okay, yeah, he definitely took it out strong. Oh, yeah, I think it was yeah. 65, 245. Oh, okay, yeah. this so, case, uh, so. very, very pleased. Um, I can't really complain with the P four second PB. It's the only criticism I could have made. It's probably a little went a little bit too early down the back straight. That's um, what I was going to say. I think yeah. those who perhaps didn't see the race, it was so sort of, as he pace wound on. You, Johnny Hay, Nick Gula, I've got a gap at the bow. Yeah. So sort of, all sort of made a surge down the bow, but down the back straight, you made that conscious effort. Yeah. And did you, were you obviously, I imagine, feeling really strong and thinking? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I knew I had a fairly good finish because I finished in schools and when I, I only won by a meter, a couple of meters, when I, that was off the strong last 200. So I thought, well, I don't know, I suppose I just got a little bit excited and just kind of went for it with two pieces to go. Um, and Nick obviously had something left, which he showed. And so, I don't know, it's one of these things that you can't really, oh, well, I wonder if I'd have waited. If I'd have waited, I might have got past him. If he might have come back again. So sure, I really well, know. I suppose we can suppose you, mate. You went to win it at the end of yeah. the day. You didn't go to second. You, yeah. went, you saw your chance down the back straight, so you went for it. Yeah. So just talk about the season as a whole as it's gone on. You just touched on that you won the English schools champs yeah. there uh, two weeks ago, was yeah, that now? Weeks, yeah. So. Was, was the English schools the aim, or were you talking um, Euro Juniors? Well, I knew English schools was important, um, and I was always going to do it because my last year, and I was, well, I wanted to do it. Um, but Euro Juniors was my aim, but obviously, well, I ran rubbish at Bedford, um, so I didn't qualify. So I put that one behind me and just carry on season. I can't really complain my season. PB in 15 and in 3K and in 5K, although it was oh, fairly rubbish. You weren't impressed with it, no. no. <laughs> okay. Um, but overall, I can't really complain my season. Got one more race left, and then I'm off out to America. So. Okay. Yeah, we just touched upon that before on camera now, You've both, yeah. so it's official now then, you signed a scholarship to go to Oklahoma State University, just your thoughts on that then yeah. and the reasons behind it, perhaps you've decided to go to America rather than stay in the UK? Yeah, I was just, um, well it was between obviously, you know, the the, the main uh, running uh, unis in the UK. So you're talking Loughborough, Bre uh, Birmingham, St Mary's? So I didn't know what I was going to do and then there was a couple of offers, I had a couple of offers from America and I thought, look, you're never really going to get this chance again, it's okay. five years out in the States, training most of the year in Done. I was like, why not? Um, and then obviously a bonus to it, and it's not one of the reasons why I'm going, but one of the bonuses is I'm not going to come back from uni with a 20 pound debt. Right. <laughs> but um, the group out there is going to be amazing. Well, that's the thing, obviously, you're going to get to train with the legend that is German Fernandez, so how much excitement does that fill you with? Oh, like, say that you'll be training with a yeah. truly world class athlete. Well, it, it, it's not just that, it's, just, it's training with a group that will be around my standard and better than me. Yeah. At the moment, I'm training on my own, well, not on my own, I have a good group, and uh, some of them, like, because the, the, they are there to, with me, but well, I suppose I imagine you're at the front of this yeah. group, sort of thing. Whereas, imagine yeah. no disrespect, as soon yeah. as you get out to go a different style oh, of training, yeah, I imagine for, for the long you're going to be at the back of that group, and that's going to oh, develop exactly, you yeah. as and an athlete. I'm looking forward to it because. I, I, like my pace judgment is fairly good because I have to do it all myself in training. So with me going out there and being able to sit and just run the training sessions, like just running them without any kind of not worries about the pace, but kind of with people behind me knowing, oh well, if Tom's going to be doing 66, I'll be doing 68. But then if I mess up, then they're not going to have a good session. So it'd be good just to go out and train with other people and different people as well, faster people. I'm really, really excited. Mm -hmm. nice. Good. And so, so you said one more race left. Then what's that race? Sorry, it's the British League uh, okay. in Gateshead. Right, and, and I'm what you? I'm doing a 1500. Okay, do you think is this still, what's your PB so far? This 1500, I've run 352. And you think there's still um, a bit of room for? Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with today actually. I didn't think, I, well, I didn't feel amazing going into the race. To run a PB, I can't complain. I'm no, no, no complaint. So there's no reason why I can't look to run really well in a couple of weeks' time. Pressure's off now, though. I'm kind of on the ease down. Obviously. Sure because I'm going into... Uh, well, that's the thing. Are you America. planning, sort of, is it going to be a break before you yeah. go out to the States I'm then? I'm going to have a bit of a break and then clock up some miles, just easy running, and then uh, start training over there with the group um, on the 11th of August. OK, right. Well, uh, congratulations again on today's performance, Tom. Good luck for the British League and all the best out in the States because I'm pretty sure as more and more British athletes are getting out there, the further developing, I'm pretty sure you'll just be another perfect example of that, mate. So all the best for the future.